morning everybody it's miss ruth and sarah and we're here and today we're talking about joy joy is happiness and it is the third sunday of advent and that is the one that we talk about joy although joy and love can be interchanged and uh, some churches do one over the other so we're on to joy today and uh we're and i wanted a sheep do you see the little sheep this is one that was made by miss pat simpson and it's uh it was made for a messy church and it's just the coziest thing and sarah loves it don't you who do i know <laughs> so anyway i will also wanted to show you our um, crush scene from home the wooden characters so they are right here so there is our baby jesus again and mary and joseph and now this week we bring the shepherds into the picture so we have our shepherds with their crooks that they're holding because they're walking on uneven ground so it's just like a cane that helps you balance and uh, and also we've got a sheep so here it is so that's the maybe we should put the sheep over the shepherds there we go so there is the buildup of our crash scene right now with the wooden characters and that's that's a fun thing too so maybe we'll just put our little stuffy there too because we're going to go into our song right now and it is called Mary Had a Baby. It's a real cool one and a lot of repetition and I think you'll have fun with it. Here we go. Mary Had a Baby. Yes, I like it. to look at our crush picture in the poster right now and again you can see the shepherds have arrived and they're the only visitors right then so that is the story we're going to tell you a little bit more about today okay so we'll go over here to my flannel board and here we have some sleepy guys and you know who they are they're the shepherds because they've got the sheep right here you can see them and uh, they're yawning and they're tired because they've been out in the fields all day. Every day they're out in the fields taking care of their sheep. And this one's even patting his sheep, like a, just like we would do with a, a dog or a cat. It's just like they get to be pets and they love them all. And they were ready to settle down on a very quiet night when all of a sudden an angel appeared. And the angel startled them. And she said, don't be afraid. I bring good news. And here they are. They're looking up at the sky at the angel. She says, I bring good news because tonight a baby is born, a very special baby. His name is Jesus and he is the son of God. And it's a very joyful time. And then the whole company of angels joined in and sang glory to God in the highest because they also were praising the, that this night was the night that the son of God was born. So the shepherds said, well, we better go to Bethlehem and try and find these find this baby so they so the angels disappeared and they got on the road and they were walking they kept their crooks or their canes as you can see and they're walking and walking and walking a long time until they did get to bethlehem and there they saw the baby there was the baby that we've been talking about in the manger scene so here's um this is the manger and then the building sometimes it's it's considered to be a stable which is a place where animals are kept. 
Uh, it can be a building structure or it could be a cave. Some people feel that it was a cave that they were in, but wherever they were, they were protected from the wind and the rain. And the shepherds came and they fell down on their knees and they worshiped that uh, worship God and thanked God for the blessing of this baby Jesus this night and that they, poor lowly shepherds, were the first visitors besides the animals that were in the same stable that night. So our Bible verse to go with this joyful story is God so loved the world, which is again from the New Testament, John 3, 16. God so loved the world. Okay, we're going to go over and look at making Advent candles today at our craft table. So this is the week that Christmas is upon us and we're going to be having having a party. So I brought a party, a party character here and I'm gonna see if I can snap it, I'm not sure. But it's kind of hard to snap. This one has the glued in the bottom, so let's just check it out. Nope, maybe I just pull it. Oh, that's what we do. Okay, didn't make much of a, a bang, but inside our little our little characters, our little, little, um, a little game it looks like that we can do. So I know you're heading toward your Christmas uh, this week, and I, I hope everyone has a wonderful time, but I wanted you to remember our Advent candles. So this one is the third one, and the third one is always pink, but I wanted you to, sh to see how you can make them really simple. I just took a wrapping paper tube like this, and I cut it into different sizes because the first one would be um, melted down a little bit more than the others. So I, I have something that uh, Miss Jane sent us. So week one is about hope. So it would be a little bit shorter. And week two would be about peace. And the third one is joy. And the third one is always pink. So here we go. So I cut a piece and I make it a little bit longer because you can see that I like to glue it onto the cardboard. So I need it a little bit longer than the, uh, the height of the candle. So I just put it on here, make it a little bit longer, cut it across like this. It doesn't have to be super, super straight. You can use the straight end anyway over here. And then I need to go just as far enough to wrap it. So I'm gonna cut that part off. And then I'm gonna use this as a gluing area. So I have some, I have some glue in this little tray, the, the tacky glue, the thick glue, because it's going to take a little bit more strength for this to stick onto a cardboard tube. So again, we're going to put the glue here, kind of at the beginning and end of it, and up at the top. And I'll do the bottom after. Okay. So we're going to roll this along, try and keep it even at the top, as you can see, as even as we can. Roll it around, there we go. So there's our candle, and then the bottom has a little bit extra space that I can cut and glue that to the cardboard base, like that. It looks like I should have made a little bit more leftover than this one. Okay, so on that, I also add the glue and then I can stick it on the base, and we have our four advent candles, like this, okay. So they can be different sizes, and then I made some flames. So I just took some tissue paper and cut a, a pointed end to it, like this, and I thought if you had a couple, it looks more like a real live flame, and we can put it in the ones that, that we have lit. So actually the lower one should be the ones that we have lit. So let's put in this one, and I'm just a little more glue on that there we go and this one is a lower one so we'll put our flame in that one too and this one so this is the third week and this is the week that we're talking about joy and that would be the candle that we would light in church this sunday okay so i hope you have fun doing that you can take um also some papers, I wrote the words on it. So this would be the joy one. And we've done hope and we've done peace. So the last one will be love and that would be the one we can do uh, next Sunday. Okay. So I wanted to show you the story a little bit clearer 
in this book. So we left off at this part where the baby Jesus had been born. And it says, and there in that small stable, the baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped her baby in a blanket she had made, and Joseph filled a manger with straw, and that's where they laid the baby in it. So here they are. You see the birds and the animals are all there too. That night, there were shepherds in the field near Bethlehem. As they watched their flocks, a great light shone all around them, and an angel appeared. The shepherds did not know what was happening, so they fell on the ground and they were very frightened. But the angel said, do not be afraid. I bring you wonderful news. Tonight in Bethlehem, a child is born who is the Messiah. Go there and look for the baby lying in a manger. And the sky was suddenly filled with angels singing and praising God. Then as suddenly as they had come, the angels disappeared. The shepherds talked excitedly about what the angel had said. Had the Messiah really come at last? They gathered up their things and they hurried to, you know where? Bethlehem. There they found Mary and Joseph and the baby. And the baby Jesus looked just like any other new baby, and yet the shepherds could feel how very special he was. So they rushed away to tell everyone the good news, just like our song. And they told everyone on the way back to their feels the good news about the baby being born. So I'm going to end with the uh, prayer that came to our house from, with uh, Miss Jane uh, delivering it to us. That's uh, Aiden and Anne's grandma, and we thank her very much for this gift. So this is week three, all about joy, and the prayer is, Dear God, help us be joyful and fruitful, sharing wildly what we have, loving our neighbors and ourselves. That's a good message. Loving your neighbors, reaching out, helping each other. So let's all be very joyful as we head into Christmas Day later this week. That's all for now. So for Miss Sarah and Miss Ruth, have a very merry and happy and holy Christmas. Bye for now.